because uh, when you were in Carnival, you would uh, not start building until after the concerts no, were no, over. No, no, that's right. Yeah, you, well, you, we used to finish, uh, finalise, finalise at the end of the season, and then not start again until March, something like that. Yeah. But now it goes on and on every week. See, yeah. what, there's what a lot of money made in in the carnival. But we're by by the, getting the money in yeah. so that we can be, do this effort. You know? And of course, it's good for the town, isn't it? Because That's right. uh, oh, you're raising money locally, yeah, and you're only, spending it. Not only that, it curtails the youngsters a little bit. Yeah. If anybody's a stranger and they come in, we were talking about the carnival concert now. If anybody's a stranger coming into Bridgewater and see all these people at night times all dressed up, yeah. they wonder what the dickens is going on. Well, the carnival concerts are a wonderful thing. I, mean, right. I, I think every town in the country would give their eye teeth That's for, right. yeah. for a concert and, the way we've, we've got it. We've got a lot of talent in Bridgewater. We have. I mean, you look at the, the, the shows that we're uh, putting on at the moment. Yeah. We've probably got about 600 people uh, taking part. That's right. Now, what town can boast yeah. that? Well, there is another way of asking. We, when we sit down in the audience and watching the show, I, I think there's about 450 people yeah. actually taking part. Yeah. And there might be 60, 600 people going in and off the stage which, and all the scenery. One goes in, the other goes out. Yeah. Takes some believing, right? It's, it's a marvellous uh, right. event, and, yeah, uh, and it's amazing that it keeps going year right. after year. With, and uh, all these chaps that are in, in the carnival clubs look forward to the concert more than the road. I ring. think they do. Yeah, I think yeah. they do these days. Yeah, yeah. Of course, going back to no 1945, um, and for many years after that, there were very few women actually in carnival. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. If you wanted women, you had to dress the blokes up, but you did <laughs> not do that. Did they? I, what was it we done when we wanted. Uh, or well, somewhere in Sahara, we wanted, and we wanted two girls to do the dance, you know. Yes. But we had to dress two chaps up. And do it. I don't think two chaps would do it today. Well, I don't know. I mean, Rambler's Carnival Club are still the only club That's in right. town yeah. who can boast that they're yeah, all, all yeah. male club. Yeah. Well, even Lancaster now they got more girls than ever. Good job, I did it. Really well, <laughs> <laughs> well, talking of that, of course, uh, Carnival has uh, yeah. improved the social life for a lot of people, but it's also caused one or two uh, marital breakups uh, as well, hasn't right. it? Uh, that's right. Yeah, we <laughs> yes. all. Uh, uh, the yeah. Carnival really does have that effect on some people that you get so committed in Carnival uh, that. Uh, well, uh, that's how we enjoy ourselves. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it's. it's Certainly good for the town and, and good for the people to take part. I, th I think that they, uh, the chaps could call me the granddad of Carnival. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you probably must be the uh, I, oldest person yeah, that's still associated with the next Carnival next Club. Next May, I should be 86. 86. Uh, right. And I, I'm not going to give it up. Why should I? Yeah, that's you right. Know, I've seen a lot, you know, I'm in the funeral trade and I've seen <laughs> a lot of chaps, you know, the way they turn out for somebody that has passed away for a funeral. Yeah. And all the celebrations. Yeah, well, if you're still enjoying it, there's no reason no, to give it no, up at no, all. No, I don't want to. No. No. Looking around this pub today, I mean, we've got so many pictures of the lime kiln uh, yeah. since 1945. Yeah. And you told me earlier that uh, you're actually in every single I picture. think I'm in every one of them, yes. Because they did, I'm in the later years, and I think the later ones have done the social role. All right. Of course, when, when I actually finished uh, as a member of the lime kiln club, I'm a... I'm a Life member of the Carnival Club, I'm a life member of the committee, I'm a life member of the county committee and all that, see. But the time came when I, should I go on the committee? And yeah. I was asked two or three times. And then the, the line crew coming out in the carnival, and I went on to my wife and I said, do you know what their ideas this year are? I said, they're going to do Vikings. <laughs> Christ, I said, if they can't do anything better than Vikings, I think it's time for me to finish. <laughs> so I came on the committee, oh, right. I've been on the committee ever since. Yeah. 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 And you were president uh, for three yeah, years I as well. I enjoyed every bit of that, and yeah. I was a bit hesitant about taking that on. I didn't like the idea because I'm not a sport, sportsman in the way I talk about sport, as I'm not a keen um, anything to do with football or cricket yeah. or skittles or even. But, uh, you know, when we had the meeting and I was asked if I would be president and, uh, and I was coming out of the house and my wife said, are you going to take it on? I said, no, I'm not going to take it on. I don't feel I can do it. But when I went to the meeting, one got up and said something about me and somebody else got up and said something. I thought to myself, I can't let the side down. I found to do it and yeah. I did. Then I remember going to a social where the car a carnival club, I think it was the vagabonds, was doing all the food and uh, drinks and all that. And as I came up to the door, somebody shouted out, the president's arrived, and I walked <laughs> in, and they was all lined up, you know, yes. the girls in yeah. black and white, yeah. and trousers and blouses. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> and I had three quick years, yeah, yeah. three quick years. Going back to your lime kiln days, 
one of the entries that I, I remember most was when you did the Kilties. Yeah, yeah. And that was quite a... There was a picture up there of the Kilties. And, that, and we... No, it's over there it is. Over there. It, but there was 40 members then. And, and that was uh, a groundbreaking uh, right, entry, yeah. wasn't it, in yeah, those we, days? We built... The, the whole the cart was made of Edinburgh Castle with some two or three chaps on the t top of it marching around. But the rest of us was in front marching, doing counter-marching, yes. with a whole lot of civilians carrying a string of lights. Yes. But the thing of it was, we spoke uh, every night going to the carnival concert, we formed up at the Lime Kill with a proper band, bagpipes and, uh, and drummers and all that, and marched up, and more people was watching us coming in and going out every night. They spoiled ourselves for carnival night. Yes, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but that... Uh that, that entry actually changed the rules of the carnival that's because right, you yeah. either then had to be that's on right, the cart or right. off the cart. That's right, yeah. Uh, One fair anyway. That's right. Took up a lot of room. But you've got to stretch the, uh, the, yeah, the yeah. rules sometimes, haven't you, to uh, improve carnival? Yeah, a stipulation now. You've got to be 11 foot wide, 100 foot long, and 17 and a half yeah. feet right. And that's it. Level. You can't go over that. Yeah. If you go over that, then you could just get disqualified. Yeah. Uh, and when you think of if you're going to have all them carts in a possession of 150 some odd, going to take some sticking, <laughs> they'll be going round for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, let's hope we don't do that. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because... Uh, Excuse people... me a minute, I've got to blow my nose. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, uh, you, you've been in Carnival for so many years, Bill. Have you got one particular memory that uh, stands out most in your mind? Mm. A really good year for, for Limekiln or a good year well, for Bridgewater Carnival? I think we were the first to win the County Cup. You what know, entry was that? Was that Henry Morgan? Was something it? like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, it was all good times as far as I was concerned. So you yeah. were one of the instigators of the county, weren't you? You and Fred? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Going back that yeah. time, yeah, yeah. The first, I, you know, the incident uh, I can remember was going to the county one year uh, when Weston wants to come back yeah. in the circuit, and uh, and I didn't think they. I thought I thought at the time they had more money than we could afford. Yeah. And I was a little bit against it when I, after the meeting I heard well, they didn't have any money <laughs> at all. Because uh, if you could, have, if they could have offered more money to the clubs than we could afford to do it, yeah. it might have been, but it worked out all right in the end. And they've been there ever since. Yeah. yeah. And Lime Kiln Carnival Club going 60 years, and uh, they tell me that they've never missed a carnival concert. No, never missed. And they've all attended every single carnival parade on the county circuit. Now yeah. that's quite a, that's an right. achievement, isn't it? I can it? tell you that no, the, no, we took part in two summer carnivals when we come out as a French Foreign Legion. I got a photograph of them marching all along the parade down Burnham on Sea, an aerial shot of that. Yeah. And also with the Scots, we took them to Trowbridge Carnival. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good time. Yes, yeah. yeah. And many more years to come. I hope so. Well, Bill, we could carry on talking for, for oh, hours and hours, right, but right, I think yeah. the film's running out, so <laughs> it's probably time to, uh, yeah, yeah. to then, move on now to our next port of call. Yeah, so right. thank you very much for uh, uh, sparing the no, time, Bill. Nice and, to uh, lovely for you to bring along yeah. some of these photographs, yeah. and I'm sure yeah. we'll be uh, seeing some of them on yeah. the, uh, well, later you, on in the film. Well, the, all the best to you, because you've done a good job. Thank you very much, Bill. Nice to job. see you. And you can, all the best. Cheers.